Hey, hello everyone, I'm João Marcos from That's Brilliant and in this video uh, I'd like to talk to you guys about a little, boy, a little bit more examples uh, of why we can't divide by zero and it exists on uh, the universe. So we, ha we have already talked in another video which link I'm going to put in, in the description of this video we talked about why we can't divide by zero and we also talked that, uh, about that the non-existing of the division by zero is, it isn't just a, a, a rule invented by humans, but it also happens on the nature, on the universe. So we are going in this video to see a little, a little bit more examples of it. So uh, a very simple one of speed. We see this in physics. Speed uh, is a distance traveled divided by uh, the time uh, that that thing needed to to travel that distance is the time needed to travel this distance. So this is the way we calculate uh, speed. It can be, uh, uh, for example, me meters per per second. So uh, what can happen here? We can't have a division by zero. So uh, the time, the the chain of time uh, needed to to travel this distance needs to be uh, different from zero. It can be zero. So um, let's think about it. It can be zero because mathematically we can divide by zero but also because in the nature we don't have a speed if the, the time, uh, the, the take time is equal to zero. So it happens also in the math we have but also in the nature, the universe. If we have a, a time, a change of time is equals to zero, we don't have uh, speed because we, we didn't have enough time we didn't have time to to travel a distance and to have this uh, velocity a uh, uh, speedy a uh, speed uh, better saying so uh, it happens also in the math and also in the nature we can divide by zero but uh, time can can't be equal to zero because if we have time equals to zero we don't, we don't have speed so uh, another example when we study uh, gases or in chemistry or in physics, we see an equation uh, like this. Uh, it's used to, to, to make some calculations with gases when you have a transformation. So it it's relates the pressure, the volume um, and the temperature of, the, of a gas. And we change something, but else, uh, it uh, always, always the pressure multiplied by the, the volume divi divided by the temperature it's also going to be constant it doesn't change so the initial the, this initial uh, pressure times uh, volume divi divided by temperature is also equals to the pressure times the volume divided by the, the temperature when I say volume I want to say uh, the, the this space occupied Occupied by that gas, uh, um, the size uh, of that gas, the, the space that's it's it's been occupied by that gas. So we, what can happen here? Well, we can divide by zero. So to uh, the first temperature has to be um, different than zero, and the same thing for the second temperature. It can be equals to zero. So let's think. These things here, we uh, use the the unity of the temperature is equals to Kelvin, and uh, we can't have mathematically uh, the temperatures can't be zero. But not only mathematically, but also uh, physically, because uh, we it doesn't exist a zero Kelvin temperature. It doesn't happen. We know that uh, the zero Kelvin is uh, the absolute temperature in which uh, the particles would be uh, n not moving it, they would be stopped and it can happen in the nature we can't reach the temperature of uh, zero Kelvin and so we are never going to have a division by zero here we are never going to have it also because we can't have it mathematically and we can't have it because uh, it doesn't exist a temperature equals to zero Kelvin and another example, uh, very cool, 
um, of uh, trigonometry. When we stood the the sine and cosine and tangent, we we see that the um, uh, let's say the tangent of um, 90 degrees it uh, doesn't uh, it doesn't exist. But uh, why it doesn't exist? Well, we know that the tangent or the tangent of an angle is uh, of I, I don't know. Let's say the x angle. It's equals to the sine of that angle divided by the cosine of that angle. We study this in trigonometry. And uh, why doesn't exist the, the tangent of 90? Uh, 90. Per, uh, because the cosine of 90 degrees is equals to zero. So we can't have a division by zero. Why we can't have it? Uh, we have already studied, but because the, the cosine of 90 degrees doesn't exist, it doesn't exist the, the tangent. But not only because uh, the division is equal to a division by zero, but also because of another thing. So let's see. It, it isn't only uh, ah, uh, because we don't divide by zero, it doesn't have the tangent. It's also an explanation, but we can see it in another way. When you study trigonometry, we see the unit circle. That is the, the circle that, that has a radius equals to 1. And it's the trigonometry uh, circle. So we have a lot of trigonometry, uh, trigonometric uh, functions in the circle. Uh, for example, if we have this angle here, this line here is uh, its cosine. And this line here, this here, is its sine. So, uh, let's draw it again. We have, we know, it's radius 1, radius 1, and here is 0. And here we have uh, 90 degrees, or if you want to say, uh, pi over 2. So, we know that in the trigonomet in trigonometric circle, in the unity circle, the tangent can be draw drawn as a, a line that passes and touches only this point, the zero point. And the the tangent is uh, of this angle, for example, uh, this angle, for for instance, this angle here. The tangent is a, a line that passes on the center of the the circle and goes forward uh, until it touches the, the tangent uh, line. So here is the value of the tangent of this angle. Uh, another example. This angle here, that would be all of these. Its tangent is going to be, uh, for example, uh, this one. It's a line that pass, passes on the, the center of the circle and goes into the tangent line. So Let's think about the, the 90 degrees. A line that passes on the angle and uh, passes on the center is this. So better saying, we know the tangent is uh, the line that passes on the center and on the angle and goes into the tangent's uh, line. For example, uh, this angle here we, we saw, it passes on the center it passes on the angle and it goes into the tangent line. So this is the tangent. So let's think about the, the 90 degrees. A line that passes on the angle and on the, the center is this line here. But it, it's the, the only line here that uh, doesn't is never going to touch the tangent. Uh, we have if we, we get a uh, um, an angle very very close to the 90, for example this one, a line that passes on the center and on the angle is for example this. And it's going to touch the tangent line somewhere, but the 90 uh, line is never, never going to touch the tangent. Why? 
because this two, this two uh, lines they are parallels. Let's say this is R and this is X. R is parallel to X. So we know in, in our um, standard geometry that two parallel lines never touch each one itself. Uh, the, a line that's parallel to another one never touches the, the other one. So the, the line that passes on the 90 degrees and on the center of the circle is never going to touch the tangent uh, line. So there isn't a tangent for 90 for two reasons. One is because of this unit circle, but mathematically we couldn't calculate the, the tangent of a 90, but it isn't just a math rule. It also happens in the universe. We can see here in the definition of, of tangent, we can't have a tangent for an act. So, uh, thanks very much again saying um, the non existence of the division is, uh, isn't is just a rule, it happens on the universe. The nature is like this. So, thanks very much. I see you in the next video.